I'm Carter Gilliam. I'm a product manager with Microsoft Teams, and I'm kicking off a series on how you can accelerate your development for a fully customizable agent for Teams and Copilot using the Teams AI library. So this is a complement to what Nathan and MK were going over, but looking over at the, the pro code variation of building your agents here. So uh, I'm going to be starting off uh, with just uh, going over the, the overview of, of agents. But I'll go through that quickly as we've already learned some of that through the chat today, as well as the agent architecture, and then go over building a custom engine agent, but with Visual Studio Code and the Teams AI library. And, and Teams Toolkit, and so that you get that pro code variation. Uh, so you get from uh, to compare with uh, Copilot Studio that you saw earlier uh, in today, as well as the, just a demo walking through it, it all. And so, you know, with uh, you know with Microsoft, we have uh, you know the two options to build your agents either with building on top of uh, Microsoft 365 Copilot with declarative agents. And you have the option of building your own custom agents where you control every different layer of the stack. Uh, and so you're seeing a lot of that earlier with Nathan and MK and going over with the pro, uh, with the Copilot Studio low code variation. And then now I'll be going over, you also have the option for people that have uh, code oriented teams to use Visual Studio Code. So that's what I'll dive into here. And Really, one thing I have to go through is why even go through and, and build the agents in uh, the first place. So uh, I think there's massive opportunity here from even just starting out. If you're jumping in, uh, you know, it's only been two years or so uh, with the, you know, all the AI revolution really kicking off steam. And so even with the beginning of, of your journey with uh, it's easy to start out with uh, uh, chat with your data and other use cases for um, retrieval information where you're really powerful connecting different data sets together and it's not too difficult to do and we've had customers in the financial uh, industry that are able to take uh, huge amounts of different data sets combine them together and save their analysts hours from doing just the simple chat with your data analysis on uh, customers data uh, to be able to do that financial uh, financial analysis in seconds instead of uh, a long amount of time. And then moving up the, the chain, then you have some of the task and action automations with uh, what you're seeing with Nathan and MK really walking through. So it gets uh, a little bit more um, you know, comp complex, a little bit more opportunity to customize there. Uh, but then you have the benefit of, of automating and controlling those tasks. And then finally, where agents are really going to push the boundaries is with the autonomous long running tasks, uh, independently planning and being able to really act as like your, your teammate uh, and going through. And so where you reach the, the higher levels, the more customization, uh, tweaking and focus is, is needed. And that's where you go with the, the custom agents. Uh, and then uh, where I think also Visual Studio Code uh, and using the Teams AI library can have uh, help you out in very specific customizations to really control your agents and those specific use cases. And so it all starts out with at the bottom, you have the, the foundational models where you're picking out your LLM. And for the pro code uh, side, you can use Azure uh, AI Foundry, where they have a huge variety of different models to go and choose from to be able to use utilize in uh you know in your pro code environment and then you also have your orchestrator which controls uh your agent and you can choose anything from Langchain to autogen a lot of different options here uh um to go and and have custom orchestration where then you go and then can add in your different knowledge sources for grounding your skills uh triggers and workflows and then have start doing the autonomy with the long running planning and self learning and actions where it really is a lot of options to customize and dive into. And then all at the top, you have your user experience 
which in this case uh, we can go and look at the teams or you know going directly into copilot itself as well as uh, other options even with going through like whatsapp and there's lots of different channels that we've been expanding into that are really exciting to utilize to be able to kick off your agent experience where you want it and build it how you want it and uh where this looks like with uh, declarative agents, again, that's using Copilot as the foundational technology throughout the tech stack from the models, the orchestrator, and the user experience. And then uh, you would be choosing your knowledge and instructions and grounding. And then when we go over to the custom engine side with Teams AI Library, you're able to then control the entire tech stack and then pick out every single layer that you want and then be able to deploy that to Microsoft Teams and Copilot. Now, if you were uh, paying attention at Microsoft Ignite and uh, you know the uh, recent announcements, you might have uh, heard that the Teams AI library is evolving into the Microsoft 365 Agents SDK. And this is where uh, the Agents SDK is where you're going to get the uh, greater ease in deploying to many, many different channels besides just Teams and, and Copilot. And so that right now is in public preview. Very exciting. Definitely encouraged to check it out. But as it is in public preview right now, if you're looking to develop today, we definitely can recommend going forward still with the Teams AI library until that's being built more out. But we have uh, the t everything you build on the Teams AI library is will be forward compatible with the agents SDK. And so the knowledge here that you're learning with all the agents is, is still going to be compatible and useful. Uh, and you'll really just be expanding what you can do with when the agents SDK is fully out. So getting started with the Teams AI library and, and the pro code side is is very easy to to go so it's it starts out you pick out your foundational model you then can customize your prompts add your data and citations uh utilize a feedback loop to be able to get your your uh, end user input if things are going well with a thumbs up or if things are going uh you know if, if the answers could be improved a thumbs down so you get that feedback so you can iterate on your agent and then uh, we have streaming responses that which are in uh, uh, public preview. And then last, you can add in authentication where we have SSO for Teams as well as some other options that you can choose uh, the, the authentication uh, method that works best for you. And so now we can go through and do a demo and then walk through and see how easy this is to get started with the Teams AI library. All right. so. Right here, uh, I'm just in Visual Studio uh, Code. And then right here, I have the Teams Toolkit extension for Visual Studio Code. And to get started, this is a great spot to be able to initiate your custom uh, engine agent app, which is create an app, custom agent. And then you can have basic chatbot chat with your data. And you can customize your data, choose the programming language that you want from JavaScript, TypeScript to Python and we'll go with JavaScript today. You have the option of using Azure OpenAI models, open or models from OpenAI. And so we'll choose OpenAI, or Azure OpenAI, excuse me. And then once you get there, it's just asking you to input your Azure OpenAI key. And so how you can go ahead and get that is right here, I'm in the Azure AI Foundry with the Azure OpenAI service, and then you, can deploy your models here. I've already deployed some models uh, for, for this. And then uh, there is a little chat playground that you can play with directly in Azure, but I'll just go through. And if you click view code, you'll be in key auth authentication. You can go and you'll see the API key and the endpoint that we can then input right here back in Visual Studio Code. So we can go enter that in and then go back and now it's asking for the endpoint so we just copy that right over and then we can go it's asking for our uh, deployment model name which we can do gpt-40 dash mini because uh, so you can pick multiple different models i like gpt-40 dash mini 
because it is an extremely fast model, but still very intelligent. And so just like that, we have our, uh, our code scaffolded for our custom engine agent, where if you look right here, uh, you know, you can have enter in, well, one, the, the readme just popped up. So that's always good to check out. But if you enter here, there is the SK prompt where you can control the instructions for your custom agent. And then, uh, you know, this already has popped up with uh, a prompt right here, but it's completely editable. And then if you click uh, debug in Teams, then it will do run the custom debugging, which I already have uh, this going on. And so when you're uh, debugging right here, one second. Oh, go right here and then look at the custom engine agent that's already built just from what we've done right there, just cricking off uh, the sample. So it's got some data already put into it. And these are the zero prompts. So we can go ahead and click on the zero prompt. It loads right here. And then uh, we can send the message now directly to our custom agent. And so look at the response right here. It's got a good response telling about our uh, Contoso electronics plan with the data inputted. We have citations as well as an AI generated label. And then here is the feedback loop that allows your end users to give feedback on your agent. And so all these components, uh, you know, allow you to have a great kickstart to your custom agent. And then you can continue chatting right here, but then we'll go back real quick just to do a little exploration of our code. And so we're going back. And you can see right here in the terminal with debugging, it uh, is able to go and give show the response based on what we've inputted with the chat for debugging. But then you can go and see if uh, the response was 80 words or less. If you wanted to, you could just change that up and just delete that. And then it will change one, uh, the, the limit of the responses, but not only with the instructions on how you want it to act. And with the data itself, uh, this is where it's drawing the data from, but you can input your own custom data sources as well as Azure, Azure AI search in so many different ways to where then you are able to register your data source in planner. If you go to app.js and then have it customized in the my data source section to where you have uh, it organized with how you want the citations to be returned with a custom citation, then going in the custom say command. So there's lots of uh, options here to go <clears throat> and go through and directly choose how you want to customize your responses, what data you want to choose, and then uh, as well as uh, go through and have the, the specific planners that you want in your data sources. Uh, and then right here, here's the code for the feedback loop. So there's all these different little components that you can go through and modify with the code to have your custom experience that what you want with your data, with your interactions with your users, how um, you want the citations to look, how those zero prompts, if you go to the manifest.json, you can have the zero prompts where it's the introduction to your user and what you want them to guide in that first interaction that we have. So every single bit is customizable here in the code, in VS Code, easy for you to upload. And then finally, you can go through when you get to the next level of things, you can do similarly what, to what you're seeing with Nathan and MK, uh, with going through adding actions or starting to do automations. You can go and do that as well. That I'll be diving in more later into another session to where you can see the pro code variation of that. And finally, once you have uh, what what you want for your your agent setup, and you've debugged and you like it how it's working, then you can go and use the Teams toolkit with the provision lifecycle section, where you provision, deploy, and publish to Teams to be able to make it available to all your users on Teams. So just right there. We've, uh, you know, just a couple minutes run through the basics of going through and building a custom engine agent with the Teams toolkit 
uh, you know, for Visual Studio Code, which utilizes the Teams AI library underneath that. So it was really quick to get started, connect with some of the data, and then you can expand on that, read more into it to connect your own custom data, as well as those actions, and then be able to publish, uh, you know, to all your users. And so with that, the demo is, or the demo walkthrough is all set. And just a quick recap, so you have the option to uh, build either a declarative copilot with uh, Microsoft 365 copilot utilizing those fund, uh, foundational uh, you know, parts of, of copilot in your stack for a real streamlined build or go through and build a custom engine copilot where you can use the Teams AI library and Azure AI Foundry to pick out your exact custom model that, that you want and then utilize, uh, you know, uh, VS Code to have specific tweaks of that code to have a very specific experience that's easy to start uh, building with and then powerful enough to dive into and, and build out and really go and build those custom experiences to specialize uh, for your users in your specific use case so you can have a specialized agent that delivers for your customers. And if you're getting started today, you can go ahead and go uh, just visit aka.ms slash build agents for more information and then dive through this as well as there's um, many, many different samples uh, with the Teams AI library that you can go through and follow up and build on your agent experience. And I'm happy to walk through walk through those in, in another session with you all. And uh, But feel free to ask any questions that you have in the chat or uh, connect with me on LinkedIn. And I'm happy to walk through all of this and really excited to see what you all are going to build, whether it's with Copilot Studio or VS Code and Team Toolkit and the Teams AI library. And with that, I'll kick it back to you, Vesa. Thank you.